Hello and welcome. And we continue our tests with the MacBook Pro M1 Pro, the 8 core uh, CPU and 14 core GPU, and like the default basic uh, model. And we are now talking about the Substance 3D Painter. So uh, let's see how it, well it works. And let's say we open uh, the mid mats, the default scene that they have and now first of all i'll just go say uh, i'll just go showcase that in the preferences i disable the viewport scaling because i make it auto it will actually whoops it will actually uh if you can see when i'm rotating it uh, renders everything in half of the resolution and i want it to be in full resolution as you can see it perfectly crisp it's actually not in the built-in display, it's a 4K external display, so it has to move about much more pixels than on the built-in display of the MacBook. Anyway, so uh, let's see how well it works. So I'll just drop aluminum here, carbon fiber here. I, I would say like something like wooden material here, and it all works really, really well. However, it's not exactly let me select this one. It's not exactly kind of like uh, the most demanding as of yet. A reason being because we are, if I'm not mistaken, we're just in 2K resolution of the textures. So I will select everything, make everything 4K. And while we're at it, I'll just open the activity monitor. And as you can see, uh, we really are push were pushing the GPU. <laughs> you didn't see it, but uh, it was about 70%, I think. So anyway, as you can see, we are now using the Substance 3D Painter. It's running on Rosetta on the Intel based implementation because there is no Mac ARM native as of yet. But uh, we are using eight and a half gigs of RAM. So there is that. And by the way, my Substance Painter is running using Steam because I do not want Adobe malware to you know, kind of pollute my uh, laptop. So yeah, if you have an option, use the Steam. It works really, really well. Anyway, so what else can we uh, can we check out? I will open up my Tori gate in just a second. I just wanted to showcase that the iRay rendering, which is ironically the NVIDIA render, uh, which renders on NVIDIA GPUs faster. And if it doesn't have an NVIDIA GPU, it falls back to the CPU, it works. That's that's the whole like thing I wanted to, to showcase. Everything works, okay. And we go back to the activity. Where is it? Activity monitor. And yeah, 10 gigs of RAM. So in some cases, people say you only need 16 gigs of RAM. But as you can see, only the painter uses 10 gigs of that. And if you're working like in Blender open, in Unreal Engine open, like Houdini open, you will run out of 16 gigs, no time. So the more you have, the better. Anyway, uh, this is my project. I was, I was working on showcasing the modeling, the procedural modeling in Houdini, like UV and blah, 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 you get the point. And this is the Tori gate I ended up with. I think it looks, eh, it's okay, it's not, you know, terrible and again uh, some of the let's see some of the uh, textures are 4k some of the textures are 4k as well here I think it's 2k these ones are 2k so what is it? 2k yeah so it's a um, it's it's like between 4k 2k somewhere in between so yeah the quality is really good um, the 4k visualization and let's see What's the quality of the shader? Am I, yep, here it is. Uh, the quality of the shader is high, so yeah, it, it looks really good. It's not too shabby, I would say. And um, the autumn forest environment works well in this um, situation. Let's let's increase the focal length so it's kind of like a bit more compressed through the lens and render it like this. And there you go. Okay, let's let's kind of try to align it so it's sort of on the road. And yeah, 
So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, it's it's not too bad. Okay, so uh, we are creating the adding the black mask, a paint, and now I can go and select some sort of a brush and start painting. So again, this is painting in 4K uh, resolution right now, so it works surprisingly well. Uh, so the thing is, when you are working with the Substance Painter, all you gotta have is a lot of VRAM for your GPU because all the textures are being stored in the GPU and uh, the more you have, the faster it computes uh, because if you have not a lot of GPU memory, for example, if you switch back to like 1K textures, then you switch back to 2K textures, as you can see, there is like a progress bar. And if you switch back to 4K texture, it takes, if you don't have a lot of memory, it takes a lot of time and it can, cannot actually paint this fast. So the very fact that we have the unified memory and we have 16 gigs of VRAM and a very fast one, because remember there was one of the selling points of this um, on this unified memory, it's 200 gigs per second. Am I? Hopefully I'm not messing up the numbers. And on the max, it's about 400 uh, gigs per second. So this speed enables us to, you know, paint in 4K without any lag or things like that. So that is really impressive. That's just a quick update. The Substance Painter or how it's called Adobe Substance 3D Painter, um, working really well. So in case you were wondering, yes, MacBook Pro on M1 Pro and M1 Max definitely are more than capable of working with this application. So yeah, good times. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was useful for you. If you wanna just check out a little bit more of uh, the uh, tests, what M1 Pro for a 3D creator can do. Just don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and all other YouTube things. And uh, yeah, have a good day and see you in the next one. Goodbye.